I'm producing an event called the Beyond Festival. Beyond music, beyond entertainment, beyond healing, beyond guru, beyond right and wrong and good and bad and, and all of that. The whole thing is that this immersive experience around waking people up to who they really are and the human potential and it's very uh, futuristic feel. We have areas called Beyond Healing and Beyond Green where we feature the latest, greatest technologies in these areas where people get a chance to taste and feel and test drive and, you know, really experience these things that are out there. Because what I found is being someone kind of on that edge of what's out there and me always looking at what else is possible and what else is there and, and I've spent a lot of time looking at what works and what doesn't. And so to be able to get these things to the world and find people that have amazing products and amazing breakthroughs and, and healing and technologies that people, most of us, don't know exist, and to be able to get that out to the world, to me, is really exciting. We want this to be a day or two days out for people to really like experience things they've never done and open their, their mind and their possibilities. And so a lot of the events are going to be delivered in these Omni Domes um, that are done by Oracle 360. Um, and they're a 360 degree dome where it's actually a projection dome. So there's a lot of people have domes and you can go buy a tent, but what, um, his name is Chris Sifton and Oracle 360, what they've done, if you saw like the Beijing Olympics, he was one of the people who did all the amazing stuff there, um, but he has a technology where you can actually project into this dome, so you are inside of a 360 degree projection. Um, they're pretty amazing. One of the first people um, who I was actually in his kitchen when this idea came about um, is Drummy Zeb from the Whalers. And I can't even say his name without smiling. He's just this little sprightly like, man. He's got dreadlocks down to here. Drummy has been in the music world for his whole career. He's phenomenal. And he's played not only with the Whalers for 10 years, he's played with Kenny Chesney, he's played with Bob Dylan, he's played with Paul Simon, he's, you know, everybody out there. And he's really been. Um, our connection to a lot of the other artists that are a part of the Beyond Festival. Music moves spirit, nothing, I mean there's amazing art and dance and not to take away from anything else, but in my own life, I've not experienced anything that moves spirit like music. And so I've had a soft spot for musicians and working with musicians because I feel that they're kind of like the warriors of this lifetime, you know, maybe they were the people, you know, during the Crusades or whatever in some other lifetime, but now they're here to help heal and wake up and educate, and it can be through lyrics, but it can also be just through the vibration. One of our board members, David Corbin, one of the things he always talks about is his experience at Woodstock at 17 years old. And I think, you know, how cool to be able to create something that for this era can be that thing that 20, 30, 40, 50 years later, people are talking about how that changed their life. We're doing a lot of stuff between social media and all kinds of cool new technologies to connect people and to really be something that's going to support them afterwards. So it's not just like a one day, this was cool, I'm going to sit here and watch this and go home, but that we have programs and we have things that are ongoing. We have the foundation, the Beyond Foundation that sets up the Beyond Centers, and that's the whole kind of reason for this is that we'll have these healing centers around the country where we have workshops and classes and seminars as well as doctors on hand um, that are trained in the latest modalities in healing. My hope would be for the Beyond Festival to open doors for people that they didn't know existed, that when they feel these things coming up that they now have a, an avenue to go to. They have whether it's a tool that they actually learn in some of the seminars and workshops there or that they learn about a modality and now they can go in their hometown and look up like, okay, there's a, an NET doctor here or there's someone that does this modality there. The event itself is going to be located actually on the beach in New York City, which people I didn't even know existed, um, in an area called Reese Park and that's really exciting for us to be able to actually um, kind of help give it a little bit of a facelift and give it a, something where we can contribute back to the city as well. It's a two-day festival and 140,000 people live is what we're projecting now, and it's also going to be broadcast worldwide. Um, but I just had a conversation with someone who is an amazing woman who's our publicist who's done a lot of big events, and she goes, are you kidding? You're going to get 300,000 people. So we'll see. Our venue will hold it, and uh, that would be amazing, but our, our you know, realistic projections right now are over the two days, 140,000.